The project started in the first lockdown. It was designed to keep him happy for a couple of hours one afternoon. So we started uh, doing some painting and then uh, we decided to send the paintings out to artists who wanted to collaborate with us. It quickly snowballed out of control with over 240 artists from 15 different countries getting involved. It was such a happy thing to do the first time round and with all the COVID regulations, some of it was slightly missed and we just thought there was an opportunity to, to run it again and uh, keep the joy going with it all. In the first lockdown, that could be a focus for everybody. It was about doing something great in lockdown. And this time, some of the stories we've had have been harrowing, but uplifting as well. And some of them have just been so heartfelt. And to think that they've trusted us with some of those feelings has just been incredible and, and really empowering, really. We asked for it to be new artists to give everyone else a chance and you know let other artists experience that joy, that the first lot of artists experienced and then just sitting back and waiting to see who came forward. As soon as you offer to paint something on cardboard that's an instant attraction to me and I know it's an instant attraction to a lot of the artists involved. Obviously when I saw what the project was about I was instantly attracted to the idea of that and the purpose. I've worked with young people and adults with learning disabilities and multiple physical disabilities so straight away it was like, oh, uh, I want to get involved in this. For me, it was something personal. Um, in February, me and my partner lost our unborn son and I just wanted to sort of give something back to charity. I'd done a pixelated Marilyn Monroe. I worked from a original image, pixelated it, and then cut out each stencil for each colour. People normally think of Marilyn as glitz and glamour, but obviously using stencils and spray paint is sort of rough around the edges, you get under spray and bits like that, so it's not traditionally her. The artwork I made was inspired by a piece I'd done for my GCSE work at school. I decided to use the colours that Noah had originally done, and I just added my own sort of watercolour to create the outline of an elephant, and then I just used a marker pen to go over and create sort of sketchy lines and create like the elephant itself. I feel very lucky to be in the project because obviously as someone who's never really been involved in any sort of big art things, it was nice to know that my piece could be put into a project that was one going to charity and it was for like a good cause but also to be published in a book and to be seen at an exhibition. It's promoting all these artists and, you know, that for us, if that can be a platform for some of these people that, you know, they've made their own connections together, that in itself is fantastic. For us, it's just about highlighting all the artists. You know, they give a lot of joy and a lot of happiness to our little boy and we're eternally grateful for that.